Hey everyone, in this video I just wanted to show you a couple things I've added to my GitHub that I'll be using in future videos and might be helpful for you. If you've taken a compressible flow course before, you'll know that after learning the equations for isentropic flow, normal shocks, oblique shocks, Perlmeyer waves, etc., it becomes repetitive to keep plugging values into those big equations. If you have a specific heat ratio of 1.4, you can use tables, but you'll usually have to interpolate between given values anyways, which adds time and reduces accuracy since you're assuming a linear fit between the computed points. So William Devonport from Virginia Tech has a website that has compressible flow calculators for isentropic flow, normal shock relations, oblique shock relations, including the Prandtl-Meyer relation, conical shock relations, Fanel flow relations, and Rayleigh flow relations. And this is great for homeworks and single calculations where you just need a quick value, but what if you're coding up a program and need to use different inputs and use different outputs? So I decided to take the code used for his website and translate it into individual MATLAB functions that you can use in any of your programs. So how do we access the code used for the website? Open up Google and type in VT calculator, as I've done before, and select the first option here, and this takes us to the VT calculator page. Right click on the page, go down to view page source, and then we're gonna click into calcbody.html, open that up, and as you scroll, this is all the code that's behind all the calculators on the VT calc page. So here on the web page, we can see all the calculators in their individual sections as we scroll down. And the only ones that I have coded up right now are the first three because these are the ones that I use most often. So now let's jump over to my GitHub where all the files are located. You can go to uh, github.com slash JTE0419 and you'll be brought to this page. Click into compressible flow relations and this is where all the files are located. You can see the isentropic, normal shock, and oblique shock along with the readme file in here that contains an overview and example usage. So if you have any questions, just check this out. Um, I'll be going through the usage in this video. And then you can click into each of these functions and you can see the function, the, the entire file is here. You can always copy this over and, and then copy directly into MATLAB. Uh, and then when you save it, use the default name and it'll be the same as the function name. Or you can go back to the main folder and then cl uh, clone or download and then just download the zip file and this downloads all these files and put this into whatever folder that you're gonna be using them for. Now let's jump over to MATLAB and you can see I have the three functions opened up here. Let's just go back to normal shock. And so you can see all the code here. This is all just the description and then the actual code down here. If you're uh, in a program but not using, not in the function program, you can always type in help and then in this case normal shock and it'll pop up with everything that's in the description up above where the function starts uh, just in case you need help. And the important part of the, of the description are the inputs and the outputs, and this describes how to run the program and what the names are for the different variables. So let's go over a quick example for the normal shock, and this will be the same for the isentropic flow and the oblique shock, just with different function names. So let's scroll down to here, uh, down to the usage section, and you can see that we have two examples. Uh, so the first one is for, let's say that you input a certain Mach number, or one of these inputs, and you want to get all of the outputs at the same time, then you run it with three input arguments. And so if we copy this and we run it down here, we're putting in a Mach number, an upstream Mach number M1 of 2.4, and our ratio specific heat is 1.4. And if I press enter, you can see that we get a structure. You can see over here, we get a structure called solution or SOL, sol, uh, and that has all of these in the solution. And so to get, let's just say that we want to get the downstream Mach number, we can type sol.m2, and that gives us the downstream Mach number 0.5231. Now let's just say that instead of getting that whole array, all you wanted was the downstream Mach number, then you can use the second usage here and add this fourth input argument, which defines the output variable that you want. We'll copy that down here. And you can see we want M2 by itself. If I run this, now the solution is just a number. See up here, the solution is just a number and it is that uh, downstream Mach number. So that's essentially how these functions work. Download them from my GitHub. Let me know if there's any issues when you run them. And thanks for watching.